So just to end up, I want to say there's four components to bully proofing and we've gone through all of them in these three modules. Teaching the concepts of bullying and this is for everyone within the school community, the students, the parents, and all of the educators as well as teacher assistants, everybody involved with uh, working with the children need to have a common language and a common understanding about bullying. You drop down to the blue, mobilizing the caring majority. We need to place an expectation on that silent majority that being silent is no longer an option. There are skills, there are ways to, uh, to report bullying. I, I maybe wanna just deflect, or not deflect, but go back a little bit and say, Way back with when I was talking about the conflict, uh, doing the no-nonsense approach, if you don't, as a teacher, actually see the situation going on, which will be the majority of the time because bullies are very, very smart, you need to rely on your caring majority to come forward and give you the details of what's going on. So they need to understand their role, the importance and the expectation on them. Some schools are doing having a little drop box right in the classroom. This works very well in the elementary schools because the kids are in, this, in the same class for the majority of the day. A little drop box where they can report incidents of bullying. It can be anonymous at first because we want to encourage that, but over time you'll see that the kids, when they see the, the masses being mobilized, they'll be very open about the reporting. But a little box uh, in junior high, middle school, high school, it could just be a general box near the office. I truly believe that kids, if they are told and explained why we have these drop boxes, they will not abuse them. Kids, well, if you tell them why they need to wear a mask during a pandemic, they won't fight it if we give them the reasoning behind. So mobilizing the caring majority is, is critical. Uh, also teaching strategies to deal with the bullies. In the parent session and throughout the student modules, these six skills, haha, ha, so is a mnemonic device. Each of these skills is a non-reactive skills skill that kids need to learn in order to deal with bullying effectively. Help, assert themselves, humor, avoid, self-talk and own it. We call it their tool belt of skills. And while I'm not going to go through each skill in this module, you are, I'm going to be including that in the resource portal. So you see what those skills are and how, how they're actually being taught to the kids. So going back to our four components of bully proofing, teaching strategies, it's not enough to just preach to kids that they need to stand up for one another. They need to have the tool belt of skills as well. And the last one is is building a caring community. I do not know of a school that is not doing that. Through their buddy systems, to their, their special events, all the wonderful things schools are doing, building this caring community. But I will say this, if we are ignoring what's going on underneath and the, the damage the 2% are doing underneath, all our efforts in bringing together a caring community are really just very surface level. Uh, that bullying is going on, it's pervasive, it's hidden. The kids know, the kids are the eyes and the ears of the school. They know what's going on, they know who, who's involved. We need to mobilize them. And as adults, we need to be ready to greet their reports with some sort of structure and some sort of action plan.